Hello everybody, welcome to Oscar Rusty Bucket. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop a like on this video. I'm trying to hit 100k subscribers, so your subscription would be much appreciated. We're a little less than 3k away from that milestone, so for real, uh, I'd like to get that second silver plaque, even though I never got the first one, but you know, at least in principle. So today's video, I wanted to talk about Zion Williamson and his potential return to the playoffs, because I feel like that's something that has gone a little under the radar as something that could potentially be a little bit of a wild card going into the NBA playoffs. So obviously there's those big rule changes that happened very recently for the NBA's new CBA. I'm going to make a main channel video on that. Don't you worry about it, but it's probably not going to come out till Wednesday because it kind of went against my schedule. So yeah, but with that said, let's talk about Zion because the reports seem to indicate that the Pelicans feel there is a high probability that Zion will be returning for the NBA playoffs. Now, it's far from a guarantee. I don't think anything like that ever would be, but there's hope that he would be back for last couple of games of the season. I don't know that there's that many left, but just a few of them, um, and then ready for the postseason. And if you recall back to earlier on in the season, if I'm not mistaken, the Pelicans were one of the top seeds, if not the number one seed for a little bit, because they were really freaking good when Zion Williamson was there. Surprise, surprise, the team's a lot better when their superstar player is there. But that team, when fully healthy, is, I don't know, I would say a contender. I, when I was making videos on contenders way back earlier in the season, I actually made a video on whether or not they were a contender. Uh, me and Alex Hoops made a video on whether or not Zion Williamson could potentially win MVP this year. Of course, that's not happening with injuries and all the other stuff. But there was reason to believe that the Pelicans could be a legitimate threat and a team to be worried about. Now, as someone who always talks about continuity, as someone who always talks about how, um, this, this is essentially explaining what continuity is, uh, players being in and out, out of lineups and, you know, getting injured constantly, uh, that kind of stuff can affect your team chemistry on the floor, and that can ultimately result in you playing worse than your talent suggests that you could, because having that connection, having that camaraderie, having just everybody know how each other plays, knows what to do, all that stuff. That is really important. And unfortunately, that's not going to be the case here because again, Zion's going to be getting back for right last second going into the playoffs. The Pelicans are currently the eighth seed. They'd of course have to play the play-in. Having Zion for that play-in would give them a sizable advantage to actually win the thing. So presuming they do that and they clinch either the seven or eight seed, uh that could be a potentially interesting first round matchup of course we got the denver nuggets as the one seed and the grizzlies as the two seed and it does not look like that's going to be changing um i don't even know if it possibly could but either way uh the nuggets are a team that i think would handle the pelicans um but what i find interesting is the grizzlies matchup because of course you've got the narrative of zion versus john morant um, and I also find the Grizzlies to be a team that is more beatable than the Denver Nuggets. Even if the Pelicans do match up pretty well against the Denver Nuggets, the thing about them is earlier on in the regular season when they were quite good, they actually managed to be, I believe, a top 10 offense or defense in the league, uh, while obviously having a good offense with CJ, Zion, and Brandon Ingram and Valanchunas doing what he does. Trey Murphy being a really good um, three-point shooter. Uh, Herb Jones is fine on offense, but of course, phenomenal defensive player. And the team has some decent depth. There's some young players who contribute quite a bit. Of course, there's Jose Alvarado off of the bench. There is, um, what's the name of that other guard? Can't remember. It's escaping me. God, it's bothering me. But he was really good, like a really tall point guard. Name escapes me right now. But anywho, um, the Pelicans roster is really good. They were a winning team with a good defense when everybody was healthy and everybody is healthy in time for the playoffs. Again, possibly, not for certain, but if this does happen, I do feel like that throws a huge wrench at things and they could potentially be the dark horse of the playoffs, the team that no one really talked about at all. And then, hey, they're in a very close second round series or hell, maybe even a conference finals appearance if the cars are falling there in the right direction for them, because it's possible, um, not something I'm banking on, not something I'm betting on whatsoever, but possible 
Uh, given that the Western Conference feels pretty open, save for a few teams, I could see this team, you know, let's say they beat the Grizzlies and then they face like the Sacramento Kings in the next round. Possible. Uh, there's definitely a route to make something like that happen. And I do think that that is something that does deserve consideration and to be talked about in general. Um, what I do worry about, of course, is because this is not just a guarantee to happen. I mentioned the continuity thing previously, but also Zion Williamson uh, has kind of taken time to wind up a little bit, if I'm recalling correctly, even when the Pelicans were um, really winning early on, Zion's numbers were, were at like, 22 points per game and was just like fine and the pelicans were winning so no one was really complaining but it was like we're expecting a little bit more than that from you zion uh eventually he started to get to that point where he was getting like 26 to 28 on a regular basis but then injury and has since been gone um so i do wonder if there's going to be time for him to wind up I do wonder, I haven't really seen him recently, but he's of course had issues in the past with putting on weight while out with injury, um, and that could be a concern, uh, but for all intents and purposes, it seems like things look like they're lining up for him to come back, and at the bare minimum, it will be a positive. I don't think there is a world where the Pelicans would be better off without trying to insert Zion last second. I understand there are concerns that come with that. I understand that it can affect the chemistry of what the team currently is, but what the team currently is without Zion ain't going nowhere. So you might as well see what you can do with Zion. And I would say as a Western Conference top seed, I would be a little concerned to face this team uh, given that, because obviously when we saw the Pelicans in the playoffs last year, they looked pretty good without Zion Williamson. Brandon Ingram forced the Phoenix Suns to a six game series pretty much single handedly. Um, and if you throw Zion into that mix, uh, maybe they w even would have won that series. Now, of course, as we learned in the second round that year versus the Dallas Mavericks, that Phoenix Suns team was fraudulent as hell, but either way was a team that everyone expected to kind of just handle the pelicans without uh, zion rather easily and they made them sweat for a little bit and that's worth something um so yeah especially in a weaker western conference a more open western conference this is something that i would look out for and i don't feel like nba fans in general have really talked about it at all so yeah um zion williamson look out for him look out for the pelicans it could be a thing again they might just sit him that feels like the safe thing to do but doesn't seem like what they're going to do. So yeah, um, shout out to Rudy for editing this video and goodbye. I really hope this video ends up being long enough. It is a little short, but uh, yeah, just edit this clip in if it's not long enough.